And hello my brave knights, princesses and princesses, and welcome to The Hunting God. This is a game made by the same person who made, um, Drizzlepath, which is one of my favorite, um, walking simulators. So we will see how this one goes. And go from there. Basically, if you don't know what the Drizzle Path series is, I'll le leave a link to all three of, of the games I played through in the description below. Um, the first one being made on CryEngine, and the next two were made in Unreal, I think. The moment you doubt whether you can fly, you cease forever to be able to do it. From Peter Pan. By the Morrigan. Where is this place? It's as though my mind has been clouded by a thousand ravens and my feet traversed a million mountains. My Troctor, where are you? And the demon? Is he no more? Oh, Seraph, what are you airing? That you have wielded your celestial rule to renew me with life and revive my spirit? Then let me go back in time. Back to where our story truly began. Oh, we're playing. Okay, so, um... One thing I've... One thing that the people that make this go... Actually, it's one guy. Wow. Um... One thing that uh, that was what I was saying, wow, butterflies, was saying, the guy who makes this has a v incredible knack for um, litter, um, good storytelling, and he uses some crazy words. My name is Nodens, and I'm the god of hunting on my isles. One day, when I was traveling in the forest of Banager, I caught a glimpse of some nearby deer. However, they were not the only beings that caught my attention. A white wolf was nearing our mutual prey when a few mortals entered my canvas. Okay. So, the one thing I've had a problem with in um these games is that I get lost very easily. But usually the music is very good, and so is the storytelling. So I'm not sure. Oh, hello. Is that a deer? There's two of them. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey there, how you doing? Oh, hi! Let's see there. Hello, big guy, how are you doing? It's a buck. The thing I love the most about um the Joys of the Past series is basically the um just the mate the um vastness of it. Now he's made two other games which I haven't played yet. I was swift to spawn a whirlwind of arrows and dismay the humans. Yet when I kneeled down beside the brute, it had already seen the unholy end of a poison arrow. With my healing powers, I made haste to aid my new companion, who in turn told me her name, Dryocta. Fascinating. These are some tall trees.
Now, in Joseph Path 2, you get to have choices. In Joseph Path 3, you find out something. There's a twist at the end, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll just have to find out when I, in my all those all three playthroughs. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I can jump. Cool. Where I'm going, I'm just going. I knew instantly that she was of an otherworldly nature by dint of her uncommon color. She told me that she could, with me, partake in the creation of visions allowing me a peek into my destiny, and perhaps later, the end of my eternity. For many full moons she was my lucky charm, and I was her distinguished overseer. The souls of the woods flocked around her as if she was Abnoba herself. It was only later on that I learned that she not only attracted other animals, but also beasts. Interesting. Now, I don't understand exactly what's going on, like... I know that we're basically, you're listening to the story of this deity who basically... ...found a deer, or a wolf, or something. You look like gave it a name and now things are happening. Named after Buri is all the king of the world, every inhabitant posh and pearled. Faded civilization with towers and domes, two saints fled by otters settled into homes. Sea creatures as big as islands will make you cower and be silent every seven years. You wait till they promised land of high Brazil. Huh. <laughs> One fun thing about these games, like I said, is I usually have no idea what's going on. I just kind of f blindly follow along. Now, I love walking simulators. I've compiled a list of all the good ones. The re most recent one I played was Edith Finch. And that one was pretty good. Even see if you haven't seen Edith Finch, I'll leave that one in the description below too. Feeling blessed about our newly baptized kinship, I went out hunting with her some more. Yet, I soon discovered how weary she grew of my efforts to annex meat from deer and other animals in the forest. In fact, she treasured no better luxury than to survey my peaceful landscape and the swans on the pond with meditative demeanor. Gathering carrots for the wild horses was also something she glorified in. In truth, it was obvious to me that the act of slaying was deemed time-worn as opposed to the deed of loving by her. See you later, horse. The fun thing in just about two was that there were two different paths to go on. But what I've always been saying is that it'd be nice to have a like sense of direction. Like, back there, if you didn't know, there was a way to get up, up here and go over there. But I didn't go that way. Because I feel like I am not... that I, that is the wrong way.
No, most people's problem with walking simulators is that all you're doing is literally walking. And here and there you get told a little bit of something. Which, I mean, for some people I can understand. Ne walking simulators aren't for everybody. But for me, I love them because there's just something about them. That, yes, indeed, you can chuck together, like, a, ma a big map. Give some... Egad, now I recall. The soaring wall of Nanto Sulta, she of Winding River and Sundrens Frally. I vividly remember how the free thinkers tried to turn her image into that of a Daruga Dua, yet were taken by my mother's Anu's elite horde of the Tuatha Dé Danann. Now, how many dare have I heeded so far? What was I saying? That was the first puzzle in this game. The mortal of my lands too recognized Dryocta's clemency and noted how she exerted her prophecy to reveal when the weather was changing. If the sun performed the next day, she would be elated for her omen. If the skies ere long would open with the tears of my clan, she would hide in a hollow, and all the mortals considered that amusing. I, on the other hand, believed her to be a benediction regardless. But one day, as in all good tales, something happened. I wish I could run. The less I can't. I had only assembled all of the Earthlings for a celebratory cave bear hunt. When we encountered the mountain dragon, League Nap Haste, in the forest, legend had it, it was invulnerable. My wolf, however, snuck over to the sleeping giant to investigate. It's a dragon. That's awesome. Look at you. I see. Okay, so how do you want me to approach this game? So technically he's not sleeping right now. Look at him. He's huge. And it vanished, as if struck by magic. All the men roared with laughter again. Still, Dryocta howled as if something was horribly amiss. Yet the men would not give heed to her elegy and charged at the bear cave as men do. The air, though, felt as if it had been corrupted by something sinister. So are we playing the wolf right now? Dear wolf, I don't know anymore. Don't know what we are anymore. <laughs>
Okay, there's a little island over there. Not sure if we're supposed to go that way. there. There's just so many areas we could go to. It's dressing crazy. Berserkers aimed their arrows at something in the blackness. The leader drew the captured Cleave Sulish. I had bestowed upon him and ventured forth with valor. Soon a cry from him was read. When my faction arrived, we witnessed them. Two werewolves, who had massacred the cave bears and devoured them like cats versus mice. Nevertheless, a light in their eyes persuaded me they had protected their human acumen. Hope, drowned in sorrow. All of a sudden, Dryocta gifted them a small number of novel flowers, and thus they were remade as men once again. Hmm. Really quiet around here. The transformed villagers looked around in the craze for a few minutes, puzzled and momentarily distorted. Once they realized they were human again, they embraced each other as if they had made it to Anwin itself. They were a bit abashed by Draugta, though, and I did not understand that. It's perfectly sensible to be afraid of the dark, but light. Typical of whites to be misread merit. <laughs> Hooray for being human again. Though, I feel like there's more that can happen. I face it, just sorry. Oh yeah, what I was gonna mention earlier was that there was a eclipse happening, a full eclipse this coming August on the twenty fourth. It's cool. Looks in the statue and in the tree. Did 
Redact uh, High Priest went to war with a harp that would echo the season's restore. It was stolen by a rival tribe and brought to a castle with five vibe. Dagda chased his disputants and hailed his harp. It showed as he struck a sharp lay us sing the music of sleep, granting him flight into the forest deep. Okay. Lesson learned, don't steal a harp. Especially when it's fun to change the seasons. Normally men are cursed to roam as foul miscreations of divine punishment because they need to atone for their wickedness. But these men were certainly as respectable as Gofanon himself, who crafted my silver hand after my initial was sliced off by the dragons I imprisoned beneath Gwyneth. They stated that there had once been farm in the land, and that was the only thing they relived. They didn't know how they got to be in this place, let alone who or what brought them here. But in my heart, I had a feeling. Really? So why is this all wasteland now? What happened? <laughs> the next week, Dryoxer summoned a dire precursor, a demon by the name of Krum Kruach and his band of werewolves. The Lenach Falad were dishonoring a small village into human sacrifice as he wanted the magic possessed by my vats. I saw the blood of the innocent slither through the cracks of the land beneath them. I could not bear the sights of my own disciples butchered. Kram Kruach was one of the last diabolical forces left in my sphere, and if he and his underlings were not silenced, it could mean the end of these regions forevermore. No, that's not good. The last what happened to this area is that the werewolves came through and basically tore everything apart, huh? Also... Northern Lights. As my normally thunderous bow of Gandiver would not be enough to exile this arch fiend, I turned to the druidess Magruth, a master of theoranthropy, who told me to wait for her by the river of Owen Reich at midnight, and so I did, with Draktar and my preferred paladins under the aura of the stars and the stoicism of the moonlight. When I arrived, I eyed the most harrowing of scenes. Seemingly honest men, clenching black witch flowers to their hearts and drinking from the waters which had emerged with the dark color of obsidian. young girl loved by every native, while tending her herds of sheep, yet was dogged by ice. An old man who would in the business leave a farmer spotted a wolf in the moonlight. He shot at it with his bow. Behind the barn the victim of the night, the old man lifeless but smiling even so. What? Okay. Not sure what I was supposed to do there.
tougher to crank to lower this bridge. Hmm, indeed. What? Screenshot of what? Just rock? That's funny. I think that's an Easter egg. It's a clever little Easter egg. Well, where did I find a crank? I really wish you could run in this. This was dethroned, or is this just a chimera? I cannot seem to animate this anamnesis. Splendid. So where are you, Dryactor? What transpired here at this forsaken site? Probably a whole lot of no good. Mark soon appeared with our ancient incarnations, seeking to banish the twilight and hail the sun, thereby stopping the warped pietism. But alas, she was not the only one there. Krom Kruach and the Banshee Goddess, Cleodha, broke Mug's glamour and my saintly endowment with their primordial force, and with one rapid hex the Banshee sent Mug flying into the dark waters, and thus she was lost. Blackguards, may the gates of Tiranani never open to you. The werewolves were too many for my soldiers and Dryoctor and her flowers, so we fled. So I'm guessing evil came to the world and bad things happened basically to sum it up.
I mean, despite the destruction, the sky is still beautiful. Ah, uh, what is happening? I sense sorcery beyond my bent. Huh? Bellissima, is this your domain? The Sinach here is indeed akin to your inner fire. I thank you for reflecting the sortilege and diverting me to this sound shrine away from that malignant murk. How do I retreat back to my hunt after this? Most welcome of respites. Oh, you desire my service to marry the light of the moon with that of the sun? Accepted. Now, where are the candles? Water. Oh, look. There's another Easter egg. That's just a path glass. Air. Earth. Fire. Ether. Now, please let these flambeaux abate naturally, as I need not tell you what will befall the seafarers if you do not. Present my finest regards to my father. I met a Taoist master once. He revealed to me that while he had devoted five years to the strife of reaching my isles in the hopes of finding his daughter, he had taught himself my language. Moreover, in his own realm, he'd been worshipped for his philosophy, but seeing as his lands fell into moral decay, he soon elected to journey westward. I was childless, so I was unskilled in the discussion of his lineage. He did not know, of course, of the true nature of these barbaric hamlets, for he arrived. Our cultural disparities were soon beheld when he was bedeviled quite heavily by some warriors. At one particular time, he was reportedly surrounded by three heroes who did not want to be converted by his guidance. But when he came by and identified only him, I asked him where they were. He professed that they were now in a greater place, far, far away beyond these shores. As a sign of good faith, I blessed him with the ring of Alund the Fortunate to cloak him with the fifth fiada, a mist of invisibility. In return, he heralded that if I looked for a white angel in the forest of Banager, I would secure sanctity. He then assured me he would spend the next five years attempting to uncover his anima anew. We parted to the tunes of the Elysian evening songs until the village ballader's voice gently faded. We searched for her for many moons, but apparently she was no more. Christ. Reawaken me. I wish to retrace my trail one last time. Right, so when we come back, guys, and move this game until they leave a like and subscribe because there's always room for one more. See you on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.